Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright, a consultant audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed wax scope, which is due to be launched in early December 2022. If you are interested in the wax scope, feel free to email info at clearwax.co.uk and we shall add you to our mailing list. So this is of a patient who attended with fully um, impacted and including earwax on their left eardrum. Um, they had been using a cotton bud and I initially used a Zolna suction probe to try and remove this wax, but it was too firm, it wasn't getting a suction grip, so I've reverted to an ear hook and I've managed to embed the hook into the core of this wax and also a lot of dead skin. So 60% of ear wax is actually made up of dead skin, but I would say this has got a higher concentration of dead skin. And you can tell by the appearance of the wax, it's quite glossy and shiny, and that's the keratin, that's the protein found in dead skin once it's dyed and shedded, and it just turns into a yellow appearance. So again, just using the hook, just bringing this forward. Now, interestingly, once I remove this wax and keratin plug, the patient has got otitis media um, so uh, with effusion, well, an acute otitis media with effusion here. That's the eardrum. You can see it's really red and inflamed, and it's actually bulging out. So there's a, a lot of fluid behind this patient's um, uh, uh, left eardrum in their middle ear cavity. Um, so we've referred them to their GP. Uh, they will probably need um, any anterior referral as well because you can see just how bulged it is. It's, it's ready to burst, if, if truth be told. The patient has been suffering from chronic nasal congestion, which can block the eustachian tube, which then uh, creates a vacuum effect in the middle ear cavity. Any remaining um, air um, in the middle ear gets absorbed uh, by the neighbouring cells in the middle ear, which then causes fluid to seep out of the cells into the middle ear and because the eustachian tube is blocked it can't drain and then it builds up um, the fluid then turns into a viscous solution um, because it's infected as well almost like a, hence the name glue ear and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and um, I suspect if that's not treated soon the pa patient will suffer from a tympanic perforation uh, this is their right ear and uh, this ear is a lot more narrower at the entrance, so I'm just using the 4.25 millimeter speculum to widen and dilate this patient's ear canal entrance. Um, it was kind of the entrance and mid canal where it was quite narrow, and then it widens again. And you can just see probably there, which I'm to stretch the ear open. I've just put some olive oil spray in here that we, we I use the Clear brand, which I'm now um, a healthcare, uh, their appointed healthcare advisor on. Uh, we sell the clear olive oil spray on our clear wax website please visit www.clearwax.co.uk if you're a member of the public you can just visit our public shop and purchase it if you are a clinical ear care specialist and would like to buy more bulk to sell or sell on to your clients please um, select sign in um, you can register as a professional um, and then you got access to our trade shop and you can purchase uh, in, in more bulk at trade prices so this wax, you can see it's um, really dark. It's, it's been there for a while, it's oxidized and the oil's really helped to lubricate the wax and to bind it together. And uh, But it's just a matter of me trying to, you can see I'm using this rolling action here. That was a good uh, demonstration of it. So I went to the top of the wax plug and with the sucker I'm suctioning, but bringing it down and almost rolling it forwards like a, um, a bowling alley ball. Uh, Cause it's such a, it's quite a boulder. It's very spherical in shape. And sometimes you just got to roll it out, but it's getting trapped um, just here. This is just at the, this is the isthmus region. So it's the, it's the region between the first and second bend. That's the narrowest part of the year. Um, so I've managed to get, I managed to roll that ball forwards, as I said, just like a bowling ball. Uh, but we've got this really more medial impacted earwax now. So this is a lot deeper in the ear, um, in a similar location to the wax and skin plug I removed from their left ear. So I've just inserted the, uh, speculum a bit further in the ear to just to widen it and stretch it open and again I'm just just manipulating this wax plug it's quite firm and you can see how I've just rotated it upwards and now that I've rotated it upwards superiorly I'm just getting a suction grip and bringing it forwards I've got to be careful not to release the suction probe too quick or trying to remove it too quickly because then you lose the grip uh, the suction power uh, but you can see we've managed to remove that. So I'm just going to go back into the ear. You can see I'm going right and then left and then back straightening, stretching the ear open. 
I'm now going to get the focus on the eardrum. You can see that amazing view. You can see there's an attic retraction. The eardrum's quite opaque in appearance, uh, some tympanous sclerosis. So you can see all the blood vessels supplying the eardrum and also the hammer bone. They have got a retraction pocket there, but it's um, it's not embedded with dead skin, so no uh, no cholesterol formation. Uh, again, we referred them to the GP for treatment of their eustachian blocked eustachian shoes, which is causing negative middle ear pressure in their right ear and a buildup of um, fluid in their left ear. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you are interested in the wax scope, please email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you.